Alright, now I'm playing again. Something called The Monster Inside. It's an audio visual novella by Random Sea Games. Let's do this. I don't know too much about the game. My head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I've had in here. Left me feeling like I've been punched in the jaw. But just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. There was a little notice on the door for Mayor Benesetti's office. Permits, out of the day. They didn't like me much and were trying to drown me in paperwork. It was a slow month, weeks since I had any real case to work on, so I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and staring at the mirror in the corner. Slightly covered with an old bed sheet. Oh, here's a mirror over there. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see. I'm afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. The girl came. The girl came in so quiet. I nearly choked on my cigarette. Mister, please, you gotta help me, Mister. Uh. Yeah. What can I help you with? Please. No one else will listen to me. Go on. She eyed me, which was a dash of suspicion. As I tossed back a handful of pills and chased them with a swing of whiskey. I could tell this might take a while. Her name was Lily. He told me she was his mistress, the man all over the newspapers, the infamous backer, Mr. Reginald Farsworth. Mr. Farsworth was a drunk, philanthering fee, but this girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. Oh, you don't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him, and no one believes me. He's got to be in trouble. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Okay, this looks pretty simple to me. Nah, I'm going, I'm going for this one. Well, Mr. Um, Jack. You just call me Jack. Jack. Whoever did that to, had to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. I'm sure Mr. Farsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Please, the cops won't listen to me. They want to bring him in on charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, I doubt they're in too much, too much of a hurry. Mr. Farsworth had practically the entire police force in his deep pockets. Probably why they hadn't found much yet. If he found him, brought him in would be too doing too public pressure. Sometimes a mob with pitchforks is more dangerous than one man with money. If you got my curiosity, I can help you. Hmm. I can help you, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. Alright, you got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jack. Thank you. But please, uh, be careful. I don't think this was just any murderer or kidnapper. I think it... I think it was a... A beast. Beast. The word struck me funny, like when you jar your elbow on a hard corner. Not a word many use these days, except in hush whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they were real enough, alright. They just got better at hiding controlling the unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years, back when I was still a cop myself. Well, that's definitely an interesting theory. I can help you, we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll get to the bottom of it, don't you worry now. And he seemed like the kind of man who's good at solving mysteries. Sure, can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and call me if she saw anything suspicious. I didn't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed next chapter i think that's it for today though um yeah i'll be back again next next time with some more of the monster inside so far so far mr mr farsworth is dead no he's missing his wife is dead 
and his mistress came to me to help find him. But she thinks he's in trouble by somebody, somebody that killed his wife. It really sounds all convoluted to me. Oh well, uh, until next time.